practice the bio, and we'll, we'll do all of that fun stuff. So you get the flexibility award. But, man, that, that mic, uh, yeah, whatever your native uh, laptop mic is, Ashwin, that was not, <laughs> not, not going to fly. So uh, I'm, glad, okay. I'm glad that this one works now. All Sounds right, good, yeah. I'm doing on RAM. Oh, it's sucking up the RAM. Okay. Close out my Chrome browser, and that will give me lots of RAM back. Yeah, uh, should I close mine out too? Uh, it doesn't matter so much for you. I'm not seeing any lag or delay. It's perfectly okay. fine. But yeah, the the geniuses at the Apple uh, bar have not been able to tell me. Uh, they they told me, oh, just use my brow our browser. And I'm like, I hate Safari. I haven't used Safari in ten years. You know. And it doesn't, right. it didn't fix it at all. It just, I have eight gigs of RAM and it just sucks this whole thing down and it's a little ridiculous right there. It is a little bit ridiculous. Okay, so I have another program. I think that program is locked. There we go. So now I've got four gigs of RAM. Cool. Back up. All right. So it looks like we have a couple of people. Uh, watching. So hello, we are not yet live. If you have a question for Ashwin and you type it into comments, I'm going to try to get us off the line so that we have a couple of minutes to take maybe, you know, one, maybe two, uh, questions, but feel free to say hi. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, all right. So Ashwin Nayadu was inspired to pursue. I'm not doing, I'm practicing your bio right now. So we're, Sounds good. we're Facebook <laughs> live. We're not recording live. Uh, yet. Ashwin Nayadu. Am I saying that correctly? That's perfect. Nayadu, Many people said, yeah. Okay. Ashwin Nayadu was inspired to pursue a career in conservation by his love of wild cats and the amazing local people dependent on their backyard ecosystems for their own survival. While studying for his Ph.D. in conservation, Ashwin became known as the Scat Man because he loved to analyze cat poop. And through his projects, Ashwin realized that anyone with or without a degree or qualification has the license to save the world from extinction. All right, so we're going to, you know what? I'm killing that first sentence, if you don't mind. <laughs> and we're just going to go with that second because that is that's some good copy right there. And that was my opener for for you, the whole um, cat DNA license plate. Uh, but I, I didn't realize the scat man. That's that's just that's just too good. Yeah. Yeah, that was my nickname throughout throughout college. <laughs> Not Batman. <laughs> I'm the lucky one who got analyzed yeah. 250 mountain lion poop samples. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're getting some thumbs up from uh, from Facebook on that. All right, you guys. Sure, you don't have any questions for Ashwin? Yeah, oh, I mean, any on, questions? This is about gonna be fun. All cats right. or poop? I'm here to answer them for so, you. <laughs> I got. You turn down my little input level because I'm already taking it above the peak because we're we're having a this this is gonna be a fun interview. All right. <laughs> All right. We're about yeah, we're about three minutes over my normal time. Let me brief you really quickly. Did you uh did I send you an onboarding video, Ashwin? Yes, I saw All the right. onboarding video. I think it looks fantastic. Thank All right, you. so two minute summary of your talk. Give me your story. It's not a performance. You already did the performance. Whatever you forget to say, it's fine. Whatever you remember to say, it's fine. Two-minute summary. Then we're going to have a conversation, and we'll talk on and on in the spirit of that conversation. I'll ask you questions in the spirit of the conversation, which means I don't know what the heck I'm going to ask you. So it's going to be in the spirit of the conversation. Uh, after that is going to be the blitz round related to the performance and uh, preparation of your talk. Then it's the final word of advice. And that's about it. Uh, let's see here. However, what is, do you have a LinkedIn? What, what do I send them to? We don't have that on here either. You have a well, we have a, have a LinkedIn, okay. uh, a Facebook page, and I'll the organization run also has okay. a Facebook page and uh, LinkedIn. All right, so I want to send them to your LinkedIn because if you you know switch or move on from the organization, I want you to get your traffic, not the organization. 
All right. And then okay. if you, if you want to point people from your <laughs> LinkedIn and give your former organization or your current organ, then that makes you look like the, the hero that you are. So that's, that's well. part of why we do that. We gotta, we gotta think, gotta think a little bit selfishly at like a brand because then you can inspire more people. Uh, well, I wish point. Marvel Comics or, uh, uh, you know, brings me on as the, or the new superhero, the scat man. <laughs> scat man. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and I, I can't, I can't help but think of, uh, old, uh, Seinfeld episodes with Kramer was, uh, driving a car and it didn't say scat man on it. It said the ass man on an old Seinfeld <laughs> <laughs> yeah, episode. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> You're the ass man. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh my gosh. All right. Take it away. All right. So, uh, we did the bio. We did the briefing. We got, uh, a LinkedIn profile. I think we're ready to rock. Any questions for me? Um, nothing. Just, All right. Uh, waiting for the show. All right. Well, the show's gonna, gonna hit you, uh, real quick here, Ashwin. All right. We are live Ooh. in, uh, three, two, Hello. <laughs> we are live with Ashwin Nayadu. Ashwin, are you ready to talk? Oh, yes, I am. While studying for his PhD in conservation, Ashwin Nayadu became known as the Scat Man because he loved to analyze cat poop. And through his projects, Ashwin realized that anyone with or without a degree or qualification has the license to save the world from extinction. Ashwin Nayadu, welcome to the talk. Thank you very much, Nathan. This is just an amazing, amazing honor to be here. And I'm looking forward to all the poop talk and the cat talk. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, unfor I guess the, the uh, license plate for Scat Man was taken, but it says cat DNA, from what I remember, of your talk, which is uh, entitled License to Save. Uh, go ahead, please take us behind the talk. Well, uh, that's true. I, I looked for the scat man, but I couldn't find it. So um, I did my PhD out of analyzing uh, a whole bunch of wildcat poop, especially mountain lion poop. And so I decided to reward myself when I graduated and got me that license plate. Um and, you know, it's a pun on the idea that, yeah, you know, I, I accomplished this big feat uh, in the field of wildlife conservation. And I was so happy and elated that I had received something like a license to save and save the world from extinction. Um, so the, the big part of my talk was focused on the, the idea that everyone and anyone can get involved in conservation and help with protecting wild animals that are uh, either endangered, some going extinct in many parts of the planet. Uh, I was particularly very interested in studying wild cats. And uh, I started off uh, studying tigers and leopards in South Central India, uh, and then moved on to get a formal education, a, a, both a master's and a PhD in wildlife conservation here at the University of Arizona home of the wildcats <laughs> in, in Tucson, Arizona. And uh, I studied mountain lions and bobcats here and eventually uh, decided to apply whatever I had learned in protecting these wildcats. So I did some research on the world's most endangered wildcats and I found out, yes, the tiger is endangered. Yes, the lion is endangered. Uh, yes, the snow leopard is endangered. And these are all big wildcats that everybody re recognizes or knows in some capacity. But what about the small cats? Uh, what about the cats that people don't talk about very much, like the, the world's smallest cat, like the rusty spotted cat and the, uh, uh, the, the sand cat and the palace cat? And uh, of course, you know, I, uh, since I'm originally from India, I wanted to focus on a cat that is uh, probably more endangered than the tiger as we speak. And that is uh, none other than a cat that loves water, loves fish, and lives in these wetland areas in South and Southeast Asia. And it's called the fishing cat, which I call is fishing awesome. And so we started this nonprofit called Fishing Cat Conservancy. Uh, and you can check it out online. And we're focused on giving communities the knowledge and the tools and the techniques and the modern research 
and sharing our knowledge with local communities to enable them to protect these wildcats, as well as their own livelihoods by protecting the forests that these wildcats live in. And so that's a basic summary of uh, the, the whole point of license to save. Everybody has the license to save. Well, it sounds like everybody wins. So the habitat wins, the, the fishing cat wins, the people win. It's design thinking and sustainability at its best. Absolutely, yes. Community-based conservation for the benefit of human livelihoods as well as wildlife and the sustainability of life on planet Earth, if you were to look at it at the larger scale. So uh, now I know this from watching your talk. I mean, you're, you're doing a pretty good job of hamming up the scat man, but that, it sounds like from your talk you, you did that as kind of a, uh, a little bit of a, of a trade-off or, or uh, you know, maybe it was uh, it, it sounded like a, an easier way uh, within the Ph.D. program to really get where you wanted to get academically. Um, so it may not have been as thrilling to you as you're now looking back and making it sound. Um, I'd like to just kind of switch gears here, uh, Ashwin, for a moment. Sure. Um, it fascinates me. Tell me, before you got the master's degree, before you got the Ph.D., you were in India, I assume, and you were already right. beginning to observe and you were beginning to do uh, some introductory scientific studies. What what did you do there before you had the educational background? Uh, what was your process like? And, and, and just take us back there. Well, uh, like I like to introduce myself, I'm an Indian from India. Uh, and actually, this is my original accent, but you will not understand anything if I talk like this, because I talk very, very fast. And I, <laughs> so I have, to, I have to always switch to my fake accent, <laughs> which I picked up. <laughs> When I moved to, moved to the U.S. Uh, so back in India, I was doing my engineering degree. You know, in, in India, we first do our engineering degree and then we figure out what to do in life. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm, so, I'm going to play along with you, Ashwin, because my mother-in-law is from India. So I, I oh, feel like awesome. I, I can almost safely do that. Bring on the hate mail. We're going to, we're going to have fun with you. Talk universe, but I'm, I'm tracking with you, Ashwin. Absolutely. So, uh, as you can see, there's a little guitar behind me, and that was that was what I thought I'd become. You know, I was playing the guitar at the university uh, the, uh, that I was doing my engineering degree, and and I really wanted to become a rock star. So we were like, you know, playing all the Western classic rock and whatnot. Uh, but eventually, uh, I realized that engineering wasn't for me. Uh, I mean, it was great. It was a field that I loved uh, doing at that time. I was studying biotechnology, but I was always passionate about animals and you know, trying to do something for it. So I got, during my degree, I got to visit Tanzania because my mom was working there. Uh, she's, uh, she's a doctor. And uh, in Tanzania, she sent my dad and I on this trip to the Serengeti uh, in Africa. And that's what inspired me. I met local people there proud of, uh, about their backyard wildlife and, you know, talking so proudly about their animals that they so depend on, their lives depend on. So that's so I the, to that's the my... best place in the world you could possibly be for, for that kind of observation. Yeah, and yeah. then that inspired me saying, uh, okay, you know, how do I apply what I know in biotech to conservation? And so I, was, I came back home to India, and I was desperate to look for opportunities. Okay, I'd learned some genetics. And then I found out there's actually a field called wildlife genetics or wildlife forensics. And I was looking for opportunities and I found these uh, mentors in my city. Uh, one was running an NGO, uh, a tiger conservation society, and the other was working in a lab in, uh, in, in, in uh, south central India in Hyderabad. And so I went and requested them, hey, can I help out? And they took me on, they mentored me and they coached me. And that's how I started moving toward wildlife conservation. And uh, lucky enough for me, I was able to present my research abroad uh, at this World Wildcat Conference where I met my PhD advisor, um, and she took me under her wing, and I was able to come here to the U.S. to study mountain lions. And so, um, you know, it's just it's just one of those things where you really feel for something, and you know there has to be a way into it, and you just you just look for opportunities. And there were incredible number, uh, you know, I, I remember sending 150 emails of sorts to try to get into the field of wildlife conservation. And finally, it happened uh, uh, at some point. But, yeah, it was a, it was a very challenging 
um, part to get, especially in a country like India, you know, where the field isn't even recognized as a as a profession that t- that can take care of you and your family and whatnot. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, so well, speaking to that part, uh, what did you do with maybe maybe not your mother, um, but uh, but the extended family expectation that you're going to be some kind of engineer or, or traditional uh, graduate? Did, was that yeah, doctor, engineer, whatever? <laughs> Um, I mean, how did that go for you? Because sometimes we kind of have to not just reinvent ourselves on the inside, but we have to uh, see if those around us will go along willingly with our new role and identity or or if we have to kind of forge on in some cases without them. That is the most uh, challenging part, I'd say, because uh, most people wouldn't agree with you doing something offbeat and uncertain. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it was a challenging part to get everyone on board with the idea that this was actually uh, promising and worthwhile. And in fact, uh, as part of Fishing Cat Conservancy right now, we are working with teenagers, working with youth uh, who are also going through the same struggle, especially in India where we work. We have projects going on in India, Sri Lanka, and Indonesia. But in these countries, uh, especially in India, uh, we're work, we have youth field team members who are going, at, 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 going through the same conversation with their families and going, okay, there is actually a future in, in wildlife conservation. And, uh, and so reflecting back, uh, I would, I would just like to say one thing is that, uh, if there's anything that, you know, we need to accomplish as humans, we just need to, Keep at it and figure it out and figure a way out. And so the idea uh, with the family for me in India was as I kept doing it and as I started uh, making these minor but significant accomplishments, uh, my family started buying in and they started supporting me. And so eventually everyone supports you if you're pursuing a worthwhile cause, not just for yourself, but also for the community around you. Sure. Well, uh, speaking of a worthwhile cause to pursue, we're going to pivot over to the Blitz round uh, because right. we want you, Talk Universe, on that red carpet. We want you to get accepted. We want you to apply. We want you to do all of these things. And what I'm about to do with Ashwin here is ask him a series of either-or questions related to the preparation and the performance of his talk. Ashwin, are you ready to rock? Yes, I am. All right, sir. First question: Were you selected to speak, or did you apply? I applied to speak. Are you a memorizer, an improviser, or a blender? And co- a combination of all three. Oh, that's like a super blender then. <laughs> that's a new category. <laughs> blender of a blender. <laughs> it's like exponential blender. Okay. Uh, well, how how did that work for you? Uh, it, it's uh, I w- it, it has worked fantastically because I believe in adaptation. Uh, I believe in you know the chameleon concept, if you will, uh, in many ways. Because a lot of people have said, "Man, you are a multiple personality." Well, the reason I try to do that is because a I try to uh, w- I, one of the reasons I, I speak five languages uh, overall in, in a foreign India and of, of course English, and I'm trying to learn Spanish as well. Um, a true polyglot. So, yeah, the idea behind it is basically whichever culture I visit, I'm, and I've visited about 14 countries right now through the work that I've been doing. Every country that I visit, I've tried to fit into the culture in some way, form, or the other. And so I try to speak like the people I'm with. I try to, uh, you know. Hence so basically, the accent, the English <laughs> accent right now, American accent. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're we're going to exactly. tie it right back into like a Seinfeld episode. You started yeah, out mean, with that. I'm going to bring you right back. <laughs> one of the talks I, I initiated when I was talking about my PhD uh, study was when I got up on stage, I said, I'm staying right here in America where I can get a bucket of chicken for a buck nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> Our and talk I'm, universe, don't do this at home. This guy has a <laughs> extra fun sense of humor, and, uh, and it may be derailing the interview at this point. But fortunately, I pivoted a little bit early just for this this very thing. So, <laughs> all right. So you got a super blender. Are you know Ashwin? Are you a seasoned performer? I, I think you might be, or new to the stage. 
I, I would call myself seasoned after, since I've given about a hundred talks, I would say, oh, throughout gosh. the last 10 years. But uh, I'd always wanted to be on stage like TEDx and, uh, you know, be the talk, you know, interviews like this. This is uh, the first of its kind for me. And I'm just super excited and super charged and, you know, looking forward to doing more of this in the future. Did you have nerves or were you in the zone or neither or both? Uh, usually my in the zone takes over my nerves. The nerves come in probably just before the act. Yeah. Well, what, what about with this talk? Yeah. Like when I was, uh, connecting with you, I had nerves. And then when you came on, I was like, okay, yay. Instant connection. Well, hey, I'll tell you what, before you plugged in your earbuds, I had nerves because the audio, <laughs> the audio sounded horrendous. I wasn't going to do that to you, uh, talk universe. This almost didn't happen. So, uh, all, all good. All right. Uh, cut for time question. Ashwin, what was the most painful part of your talk that you had to cut out? Uh, in the TEDx talk or today's talk? No, uh, your TEDx talk. Oh, the painful part that yeah. I had to We only out? have so much time. You can't go up there and pontificate for an hour and a half. So you had to cut something out. Yes, I, you know, I, I really missed the part. Uh, I, I still regret it. I, I wanted to say that I was, I, I had uh, been, most of my coaching and mentorship came from my association with the University of Arizona, which is the home of the Wildcats. And I forgot to mention that when I was talking about cat DNA and, you know, the fact that I changed my license plate, just to uh, you add the connective tissue to my talk because, hey, how did this guy just land up in the States? You know, he's from India and, you know, what's he doing here? And, you know, you know, all this work going on in India and all these areas. So just I, I thought that little piece uh, was a missing part in my talk. And I wanted to make the connection there saying, hey. I got an opportunity to pursue my uh, degrees in University of Arizona, home of the Wildcats, and uh, here I am, and uh, now I'm able to take all what I've learned here to impact uh, the planet uh, on the other side of the world and uh, you know, uh, influence all these people towards conservation-based livelihoods. What's a, uh, a tip, a technique, or a tool that helped you? One of my mentors uh, said uh, he he usually looks for lions to GPS collar them in the wild, um, and um, as as you are pursuing something in life, so he was pursuing these mountain lions to try to you know collect data on them, uh, and he said um, every day you aren't close to catching a lion, you're one day or every day you don't catch a lion, you're one day closer to catching it. So every day you don't accomplish something that you're really looking forward to, you're one day closer to accomplishing it. And so keep that going and that that attitude, the keep going attitude, uh, and also improving along the way and uh, adjusting and adapting on the fly has really, really helped me out. We've been enjoying this extra fun interview with the scat man himself, Ashwin Nayadu. And before we come back to him for the final word of advice, I want to let you know where you can go to watch his talk. It's called License to Save. You can type it into Google, or uh, if you're too lazy to do that, or maybe you're driving or predisposed, just go to our website, bethetalk.com. We've got a link right there. One click, folks, in our show notes page, as well as a way that you can connect with Ashwin as well. Ashwin Nayadu, we are uh, actually at the time where it is the time for your final word of advice for Talk Universe. Final word of advice. Um, believe in the cause that you are designed for or when you find your life's purpose um in in my case about 10 years ago it was probably collecting uh poop of all the wild cats in the world and eventually i called poop the gold mine right when i opened the poop i was able to extract dna and identify a whole myriad of information about who pooped it out what the animal ate who it's related to every a, a, a whole bunch of information so Discover your life's purpose, pursue it, 
and enjoy every moment of that journey. Ashwin Nadu, thank you so much for coming on the talk today and sharing your wisdom with Talk Universe. Thank you so much, uh, Nathan, and thank you to all the supporters and the viewers who are helping make this planet a better place, not just for humans, but also for endangered species on the planet. That's a wrap. Great interview. Thanks. <laughs> no, we had a little too much fun awesome. with that. Okay. All right. I am looking for comments. Everybody was cowardly. They did not leave any comments for us. But we got a couple of got a couple of thumbs up. That's a good thing. Uh, any questions for me? And I will actually. I'll tell you the number one asked question. We are about four to five weeks out from the go live date. That's usually the number one question I get at this point. Okay. Uh, so uh, any any other questions for me? I don't think I have any, Nathan. I'm I'm just looking forward to everyone's comments and questions, and uh, looking forward to you know sharing this interview online with my friends, folks, and family, and uh, team members, uh, and uh, friends across the world. Excellent. All right. Well, great. Um, best thing you can do at this point: just pay it forward. Uh, find if you haven't already subscribed and listened to a couple of these. Uh, then, you know, find your favorite one, leave them a comment, and they'll probably do the same for you when it's your turn. So, uh, that's usually what I, what I tell people to do, uh, at this point as well as I think I can live tag. Was I able to live tag you a couple hours ago on Facebook? Uh, uh I, I hope so. I mean, I didn't open my Facebook to check, okay. but, uh, well, yeah, I can, that's the other thing. Go on your uh, LinkedIn and your Facebook because I tried to live tag you and I don't know if I did or not. So now I used to just do a post interview. Now I got a lot better, um, reaction doing a pre interview telling people, Hey, I'm interviewing 17 people today and tomorrow. And I think people like that I was giving them a heads up beforehand instead of just doing a recap. But I'm going to do a recap, too, because it's another opportunity to just, you know, live tag everybody. And uh, and it's just a it, it's basically a humble brag uh, situation now. The more I can say, hey, great interview. And then you say, oh, God, I really like your podcast. And then, I, you know, it's all it, it works out better than if we. Uh, brag on ourselves and most of us don't do it all that well <laughs> <laughs> so i'm starting to figure well, this whole thing out yep yep and uh i yeah, me too I'm, I'm still working on the social media thing and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it I, I just opened my facebook and linkedin page and uh, i think uh yeah there's a tag in linkedin which i liked and um uh, facebook i don't see anything but okay. yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll be out and yeah well reach out reach out if i didn't tag you it's because i couldn't so reach out to my personal profile if you're comfortable doing that and and actually friend me not the 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 podcast but friend me and then i'll be able to actually go back in and and re-tag you Sounds great. Yeah, I've already friended you on okay. uh, both Facebook and uh, and uh, uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, okay. And so, yeah, I'll just send you a, a ping. All right. Sounds good. Ashwin, great thank interview, you. buddy. Yeah, thank you so much, Nathan. Hope I get to see you sometime in real life. <laughs> yeah, well, I've never been to Arizona, so uh, I'll, it'll be uh, another reason to get it out there. I'll be glad to host you and take you out mountain lion tracking. Oh, and camping in the wild. <laughs> can't wait. I'll bring my wife. <laughs> All right. All right. Take For care, sure. buddy. Come on along. Bye. Right. Take Bye. care.